Hey there, my name is Jir, and welcome back to my channel. I am feeling better, so yay. Today is actually my last day of quarantine. No, no, long story short, I got sick again, and I'm back in quarantine. And while I was in quarantine, I noticed that we are about three quarters of the way to 1,000 subscribers. If you are part of that three quarters, you already know the role that you play in my life, and if you are not, well, what are you waiting for? Hit that subscribe button and we will gladly welcome you in. Anyways, I had to pick up a boat by the West Virginia, Maryland, Pennsylvania border the other day. So I turned it into an upper yacht trip. The upper yacht, Yagini, I have no idea how to pronounce this. The upper yacht is a playground of creaking. There's booths everywhere. With the most famous being the booth line at Nationals. And because these booths are everywhere on the river, the upper yacht exposed just how awful and inconsistent my booth is. <laughs> to catch those up that might not know what I'm talking about, the booth at its most basic form is launching off a drop and landing flat. This is important as it keeps your momentum over whatever munchy hole is at the bottom of that drop, while also keeping you on the surface and in control. A sign of a good booth is your bow staying nice and dry, while a bad booth tends to result in subbing out, instability, and the occasional thrashing. Now that I've mentioned keeping the bow dry, pay attention to it as we roll the river montage.
If you're like me and tend to be overly critical of yourself, the lack of good booths is glaringly obvious. After studying the footage, I've boiled it down to four things that need fixing. Number one is the approach. I'm often not lined up for the booth. And if I am, my boat angle is off. Sometimes I don't even have enough forward speed and other times I dry out on the rocks. Number two is the boost stroke itself. I'm too early on a lot of them, as proper boost stroke placement is right at the lip of the drop. Not only that, but my stroke isn't very vertical, and so I end up sweeping and introducing spin momentum as I come off the drop. Number three is that I fail to maintain a forward crunch and end up dropping my bow. Just like everything else in kayaking, this is counterintuitive. Leaning back only drops your bow even more. Instead, you have to crunch forward and hold that forward crunch for the duration of the booth. And lastly, number four is my follow through. I hit the water with my paddle still in the air and not ready to take a stroke. This is super important to maintaining that forward momentum and not getting sucked back into the hole. There really is no way to fix these four things other than seat time and practice and I've made it one of my 2022 goals to clean up my booth. If you have any good tips or know of any good practice spots, leave a comment down below. Otherwise, that's all I have for you all.